Hi, my name is Malia, and I'm a criminal justice major. Nikki de saint Filet is a self-educator. I can highly relate to her because even though I'm in school and I'm learning, I practice a lot of things on my own to further my education versus just ultimately depending on schoolwork. Nikki being a French American, she was very known in the European aspect of art, but she became worldwide known for her very violent and angry artwork. And this comes from her having a very violent and angry childhood, you can say. And this particularly grew interest in my eyes because my field of study um, being in criminal justice, you see a, a lot of angry and violent people throughout the day and throughout your learning experience in total. And her shooting her artwork was like absurd to me, but not absurd in a bad way, absurd to the sense of interesting. I was very surprised, but I was interested at the same time, and I just had to know more about Her firearm artwork then evolved into large-scale, colorful sculptures of animals, monsters, and female figures. This expressed that angry feelings can turn into pretty artwork in due, in due time. Nikki's most comprehensive work was the Torso Garden. It contained many different forms of artwork of hers. Very colorful, light-hearted, large scu sculptures. They all led up to her creating very house-sized house art pieces afterwards. Nikki worked especially closely with Swiss Connect Dean Tauntley, who later became her second husband. Nikki gave me a new understanding of art. She showed me that everything that looks bad in the beginning isn't always bad. She started out her painting shooting her art with rage and anger, and that was her outlet for the, the stressful things in her life. And then she turned around and started making artwork of animals, monsters, and fe female figures, which led me to believe that just because something looks weird, it can actually be insightful. And the fact that she self-educated herself on art and made it big lets me know that just because you don't know all the facts doesn't mean you can't do it. She taught me to keep going. Even though it was a weird lesson of how she taught me, she taught me to keep going in the aspect of she not knowing nothing about art and self-educating herself, she made it big. And me not knowing nothing about criminal justice and me studying it, I'm this, learning to do other you. things this in my field and as well. Tuesday, I so like her artwork and me, they kind of go hand in hand. hand. She's teaching me through art to become the person I am today and I really appreciate it.